Hey, I'm Randy, and you're watching The Cheap Audio Man. Today, we are talking about the winners of the CSS Audio Raffle. CSS Audio and Cheap Audio Man Raffle. It supports Homes for Our Troops, which is a great veterans organization. But bonus, we're also having a dongle DAC shootout. Nothing says convenience like a whole bunch of dongle DACs connected to your phone. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's find out who the winners are for the CSS Audio Raffle and talk about some dongle DACs. Today's sponsor is Falcon Technologies, uh, audio technologies, speaker wipe down apparatuses, okay? They're made from uh, ground up unicorn bones and it's encased in a at a molecular level, encased in a, a Teflon shield. And what it does is it reduces skin effect when you wipe uh, fingerprints off of your speakers. So Falcon Technologies, audio product technologies. They're, uh, they call them fingerprint wipes, okay? They're about 300 bucks a piece, but you get a break, uh, you get a break if you order 10 of them, it's, uh, it's 3,000 bucks a piece for a 10 pack, okay? They give you a little bit of a break. I think it's 299.9. All right, the raffle. So when I used to do live streams, 50% of the money that would come in during the live stream, I would donate to Homes for Our Troops, which is a great veterans charity. Kerry Ames, who's one of the owners of CSS Audio, was on one of my live streams and he donated, but then he reached out to me. I, I have reviewed the Crichtons before, which is a speaker kit. Kerry contacted me and wanted to do a raffle and he wanted to give away a finished pair of Crichton one TDs. And I thought it was a wonderful idea. So I reached out to Homes for Our Troops. We got a homepage set up and everything. And I didn't know what to expect. So I also decided to put up some things that I have laying around. Not only that, but a lot of the viewers actually put up products that they have lying around for prizes. I didn't know what to expect. I put $3,000 as a goal initially, and we shattered that goal. Over $10,000, actually 10,100 and some change is what the total donations are at this point, which is amazing. It is amazing and this whole thing has been very humbling for me seeing everybody's generosity and everybody open up their wallets to help out a great charity so let's find out who won okay so I drew these and it was not an easy thing because I had to take out each so for every donation there's a specific number of entries and I didn't really find a good way to do it so I actually just copied and pasted everybody so if they gave fifty dollars they got a certain amount of entries so what i did is i actually had to put their name in the number of times they had an entry so it actually got to be pretty big as far as like the excel spreadsheet goes over 1900 entries and over 100 people donating so fantastic job again my greatest gratitude goes out to everybody that participated in this your generosity is awe-inspiring. So, let's find out who won. I already drew, so I already know who won. All right, the the person that won, the also, we had one individual donate $3,000. I'm not going to name their name because they wanted to remain anonymous. But a $3,000 donation is incredible. Okay, so who won? The Crichton won TD. That is Todd Trowbridge. And Todd, I actually know, and I don't, I didn't pick out my friends here. This was a random draw thing that I got on the internet. Anyway, Todd wins the Crichton 1 TDs. Mark Cochran wins a pair of Energy C200 speakers, which was put up by one of the viewers. So Mark Cochran is getting a pair of Energy C200s. Robert Keller wins the Klipsch R15M speakers. And that set of speakers is also put up by another viewer, one of our, our patrons, and he is a great guy. Our next winner is actually funny. So there was a fair number of patrons that actually won products. And one of the patrons who put, who donated quite a bit 
actually won twice. So I had to pull him out because he doesn't get to win two times. But anyway, Digital Dan, you know, you know who you are. You have won a balanced SMSL DAC, the M300 DAC. Matt Hatcher won a topping MX3. Eddie Quintana won a pair of QOA Vesper IEMs. Great set of IEMs, actually one of my favorites. That, that's coming from me. The topping MX3 also came from, here's the funny thing. So some of our patrons donated things and one of the patrons won the thing that he actually donated. So I, I had to change things around anyway. Uh, the topping MX3 was provided by a patron. M300 DAC was provided by me. The QOA Vespers was provided by me. Now, Jason Chavez, you won an SMSL DA9, which was provided by another one of the patrons who actually won something. So it's very interesting how the universe works here. So patrons are donating things and then they're winning things that were donated. It's anyway, this the universe is a cool place. David Lowland, you won a, a, a Rillic, I almost said acrylic, a Rillic A50 streaming amp. Very good little streaming amplifier. You can use all of your streaming platforms to listen to some fun music. All right, and last but not least, Ginger Hermit won an SMSL DA8S. It's a balanced speaker amp, and that comes from me as well. So. Congratulations to everyone that won a prize. I think we're gonna do another one of these, maybe for Veterans Day, and I've got a few companies that are actually donating some things for the raffle, but you all are awesome, and I cannot thank you enough for all of your generosity. Let's talk about dongle decks. Dongle decks, when you're traveling or out and about, and you still wanna enjoy awesome music, then there's nothing more convenient than putting together a bunch of cables so that you can listen while you're on the go. I'm just kidding. All right. So I'm, I'm poking a little bit of fun at dongle decks because they can get a bit busy with all of the different cables that one has to connect to get their music. Now, with that said, certain phones, i.e. Android phones that have a USB-C connector, the only thing you have to do is connect the USB-C dongle DAC to the phone. For Apple users that have a lightning connector, you're gonna need one of these. And this is not a lightning to USB connector. This is actually a lightning to USB camera adapter. There's something weird that goes on in the Apple phone. So you need one of these. It's a camera adapter. They're about 30 bucks. In order to make these different DACs work, dongle DACs work. Now, we have two here. This is the Helm Bolt. And this is the, I can never say this right. This is the S9 Pro Balanced DAC Amp from Hydizz. Hydizz, okay? It's H-I-D-I-Z-S, okay? Hydizz. We're just going to call it Hydizz. The S9 Pro from Hydizz. Also, not on the table, but in my brain is the Dragonfly Red. Because I have had that and I've actually owned that DAC for over a year. It was, I purchased it before the channel ever started, but I had these all lined up on my bedside table and I have a daughter who gets a big kick out of taking things, small things that she knows are important to me and hiding them. She thinks it's great sport and she gets a big kick out of it. She does it to everybody in the family and she giggles and laughs. So the dragonfly red is currently somewhere in my house and i cannot find it and i actually looked pretty hard for it today it was on my nightstand last night and was not there this morning so thank you to my daughter anyway we're still going to talk about the dragonfly red all right the helm bolt 99 dollars mqa thx technology saber chip inside a lot of people have heard about this DAC if you're into dongle DACs at all. If you're heavy into title and you need MQA, then this is the only option on the table and in my brain because the Dragonfly Red's not actually on the table. Anyway, if you want MQA, this is the only option there is. Now, I will say this worked flawlessly with my laptop as far as decoding MQA. However, 
when I used my Android phone. I don't remember what this one is. It's some. It's it's one of the newer Android phones. And I used my Android tablet. Neither one of them worked with this. Now it worked if you didn't turn on MQA. But as soon as I turned on MQA, the volume was fixed. I could not turn the volume up or down and it crashed every other music app that I had. So try as I may, I never got the Helm Bolt to actually decode MQA on my Android phone or my Android tablet. On a laptop, it did it just fine. So there's probably something going on with my phone or maybe something I need to update, but both the phone and the tablet had the latest updates and quite frankly, I was not inclined to spend a bunch of time trying to figure out how to make the Helm Bolt work with my Android or my Android tablet. So take that for what it is. It works with a laptop. I couldn't get it to work with my mobile phone or my tablet. So it is what it is. There's probably a fix out there. I looked it up. I couldn't find it. So I would never was able to get it to work as far as MQA. Now, as far as everything else, it worked just fine, but I can never get it. I can never get the MQA in this to work with my tablet or my mobile. Okay. I feel like we're beating a dead horse at this point. The irony is that I couldn't get it to work on any of my Android devices, but when I hooked it up to my iPhone, the Helm Bolt, it, it worked flawlessly, flawlessly. MQA came on right away. So something to do with the Android. So if you're interested in the Helm Bolt with an iPhone, it does work just fine. And it also works with my laptop. The Helm uses an internal Sabre chip and it has THX amplification. Uh, it ran every headphone that I threw at it. It did struggle a bit with the, sorry, 10 P1s, which are very hard to drive. Planar magnetic earbud. It did struggle with it. I did get it kind of loud enough, but it didn't quite do the job with the 10 Hi-Fi P1s. But listen, that's an extreme scenario because the, those IEMs are very low sensitivity. Overall, it sounded great. Saber chip sounds very clean, not too harsh. It depends on your IEMs, but I was never listening to this and I thought it was too harsh. A lot of detail, I would consider this a neutral DAC as opposed to the Dragonfly Red. The Dragonfly Red has a much warmer presentation and lacks a significant amount of detail when compared to the Helm Bolt but especially when compared to the Hi-Diz S9 Pro, S9 Pro. Okay, so cat out of the bag. This is my favorite DAC on the table. This DAC not only has a 3.5 millimeter output, but also a 2.5 millimeter balanced connection, which I used on the 10, sorry, yep, that's right, 10 P1s and it ran them just fine. Quite frankly, I didn't get above maybe 75% of the volume range. So did very good job with the 10 Hi-Fi P1s. This DAC has the Sabre 9038 QTM chip, okay? Which is also the same chipset that's in the Dragonfly Cobalt, which is a $300 dongle DAC. This is a $120 or $130 dongle DAC. Now the Cobalt does have MQA, which this does not. However, this is one of the best sounding, if this is the best sounding dongle deck that I've heard personally. Extreme amounts of detail with no digital artifacting or whatever you want to call it. Doesn't seem digitally, okay? Extreme detail. Very, 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 very good. And the same chip that is in here is being widely used amongst DACs out there like the Topping EX5, which is just behind me, and it has a very similar sound signature. Couldn't recommend the Hydez S9 Pro any more than I am right now. It is wonderful. And if you are a traveler or you go into an office every day and you have your laptop running all the time and you want to listen to some good tunes while you are doing your work, I don't think you can get much better than this at the price. It's fantastic. The Helm, it's good. It's very good. It's $30 cheaper or $20 cheaper. And if it's in stock, great. If you're a title user, then obviously you'd probably want to get the Helm Bolt. I think the High Ds sounds better than the Helm Bolt. 
if just by a little bit. This still sounds better. This, I was listening to the high dis with the Grado SR80Es, I think, and it was extraordinary. Now the Grados did have a tendency to get a little bit harsh in the upper mid range, but it's not this thing's fault. That was the Grados fault because I've listened to every IEM that I've had with this and it has made everything sound better, including the 10 P1s, including the QOA Vespers, 10 T2s, the blonde BLO5s, anything out there, unless it has extreme harshness on the top end from the IEM perspective, is gonna benefit from the Hydez S9 Pro. It's a fantastic product and I could not recommend it more. With the balanced connection, you have a lot of options, especially with harder to drive IEMs or headphones. So if I'm choosing, uh, it's gonna be the Hydez number one, the Bolt number two, and the Dragonfly Red number three. It has to do with the Dragonfly just doesn't have as much detail going on. Even if you have a very detailed headphone, like the 10P1s, it's not gonna drive it loud enough with the 10 P1s. And it's more expensive by double. It's twice the cost of the Helm Bolt and 70 or $80 more than the high Diz. So, and it's an older DAC technology, less detail. I mean, the Cobalt has the same thing as the high Diz. So if you don't need MQA, just get the high Diz. At least that's my opinion. I'm sure the Cobalt's great. Uh, if it sounds anything like this, the Cobalt's awesome, okay? But I don't want to spend twice as much because if I spend 120 on here, I can go and buy the 10 Hi-Fi P1s for 160 bucks and be out the same amount of money and have one of the best, most clear IEMs I've ever heard. Now, the P1s, not a ton of bass, but if you listen to them for a while, that, that kind of the bass kind of comes back, all right? But if you're in... If you really want a bassy IEM, the 10 P1s is not for you. But if you want the most detailed, articulate, crazy microscope into the music, then get the 10 P1s and get one of these because it is awesome. This is my dongle DAC of choice. I love it. And it has a USB-C on one end. So you can use the USB-C to USB-C little thing that comes with it, all right? But if you're using a Apple device, you're gonna have to get again, the camera adapter, and then you're gonna have to get one of these, and then you'll just get a USB-C to USB-C. So now we can go here, connect that, and then we'll connect this. And now we're rocking and rolling with this very, very convenient solution right here. It's not actually that bad, okay? So what, this sticks in your pocket and then you got your IEMs, all right? So three dongle DACs, I think the Helm and I think the high Ds are a great buy. The Dragonfly Red sounds very good, just doesn't have the detail and it's more expensive. So if I'm in the market, I'm looking at the Helm or the high Ds, okay? So if you wanna support the channel, you can sign up for Patreon, patreon.com slash cheap audio man. Every Sunday night, we have patron only Zooms. We also have a patron only Facebook group. You can also sign up for Amazon Music. There's a link in the description. Click on the link, you get three months of Amazon Music for free and I think three months of Disney Plus for free as well. All of the products that are gonna be linked in here are gonna be affiliate links except for the Helm Bolt. I do not have a affiliate relationship with Helm. So if you get this, I don't know, if they're available on Amazon, I guess I'll get a commission off of that. So I'll see. Anyway, good product, good product. Dragonfly Red's a good product too. Bear in mind, it's gonna be a lot warmer. It's not gonna have the detail as the other Dungle Ducks have. So don't binge watch anything, binge listen while you're on the go, while you're at the office doing whatever you wanna do with your dongle decks and fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy, I'm the Cheap Audio Man.